is a vegan diet a religion? Is it a religion? People say, Harley, are you a vegan because of religious reasons? Or is, you know, tell me what's, get me up to speed. And I'm a vegan because my heart says that's the right thing to do. I'm probably just stepped on an ant saying this video. So maybe technically, hypocritically, I'm not a vegan. But you know what I'm saying. My physiology says I don't run after an animal and bite its head off. When I see a sheep, I want to pat it. And when you take children to the petting zoo who have never seen a sheep before, they're sort of a bit like, oh, you know, they're either apprehensive or they want to touch it because it's soft and cuddly. They never want to get the fucking chicken's head, bite its head off and, and start chomping down. That's when you need to feed your kids meat. When you take them to the petting zoo, they eat the fucking animals. That's when your kids eat, need to eat meat. So is vegan a religion? <sighs> yeah, some people say... You, you vegans are religious, like religious preachers and teachers and leeches. And I'm like, fair enough, but <laughs> anyone can say about anyone, anything. What often people say is, if they don't like what they're hearing, they call it preachy. If they like what they're hearing, they call it peachy. So you can say the same thing to two different people, and one people will say preachy, one people say peachy. You know what I mean? So it's just an interpretation of that person, what they define as preachy or peachy. It can be the same information, two different people. Hope that makes sense. So we have all these people saying to vegans, religion, blah, blah, blah. Often what people do is they, they'll try and link something. Give them, they'll give themselves some emotional bullshit they can attach to a real noble cause. And that sort of prevents that noble cause from going in their brain. You know what I mean? So I say get rid of the emotional bullshit. Listen to your heart. Follow your heart. And let things come in that make sense. You know what I mean? Use your heart as the guide versus your emotional bullshit. You know, try things before you knock them. Vegan, that's easy. It's more fun. It's more love. It's more passion. It's more better for the environment, better for your health. Get to stay fit, lean, strong a lot easier. You don't have to take all crazy whatever. You know what I mean? It's, it's incredible. I was reading on someone's blog the other day. This, <laughs> some paleo primal guru crew, whatever dude, saying, I don't eat watermelon because it's high in fructose and make me fat. <laughs> I'm like, fuck, man. Watermelon makes you fat. I don't know about that. Body fat from other animals? That's what makes you fucking fat. Eating fat becomes our fat. The fat we eat is the fat we wear. Eating watermelon becomes glycogen glucose. Actually, I sort of stay away from watermelons a bit because they're too light on the calories, in my opinion. They don't build your glycogen stores quick enough. I like the high-calorie, high-carb fruits like bananas and dates, jackfruit, mangoes, grapes, things like that. So we're getting back to this vegan religion. Harley, my family, doesn't want me to be a vegan because they think it's some religious cult. <laughs> I remember when I got into cycling, people said, you're a religious, zealous cyclist nut. <laughs> and I'm like, cycling's fun, it's good, you get to meet people, transport your body around, it's good for the environment, blah, blah, blah. You know, it's good for your health, you get to pump for the lymphatic system, it's, it's great, you know. So whenever people don't want to do something, they make, like I said before, they attach some emotional bullshit to it to let it prevent it from coming in the head, you know what I mean? So when your parents and family or friends or community say nonsense things that you know are nonsense how do you deal with that you know some people don't want to be convinced some people would rather die than change their diet and lifestyle and we've got to accept that you know what i mean we've got to accept that it's not for us to decide who wants to live or die you know what i mean we just got to it's up to us to, to share the information with people share it share it share it you know caring fun format being honest speaking from the heart saying what you mean meaning what you say and then it's up to people themselves as individuals to accept it or deny it or whatever. Don't run around like chasing people. How come you're not doing this? How come you're not doing that? Don't run around taking things personally because you're trying to make a difference and people are trying to knock it down. Just whatever, man. You know, just, just drop it. You know, you don't have the rest of your life to take things personally. If you bleed from all the tiny arrows shot your way, you'll never get anything done. You know what I mean? So just be the example, be the change. Like Gandhi said, be the change you want to see. You know, when you're, especially when you're living with people, you don't need to talk that much. You can just walk it. Maybe you can write things down and just give it to them and say, that's just all I want to say. I care about you. I want you to know this, but I'm not going to go on about it. I just want you to know exactly how I feel and exactly what you can do if you want to change your situation. And that's all I wanted to say. And that's a lot more empowering than go every day, same shit, same shit again and again. You know what I mean? And if you live with your family members, maybe you want to move out. You know what I mean? <laughs> There's this whole thing in society just because someone's your family member that you have to look after them. But why the fuck look after someone when they don't want to look after themselves? They don't give a fuck about you looking after yourself or they make a big scene of it. Why hang around those people? We become who we hang around. So I say, get rid of the obligation, follow your heart, do the right thing. And the best thing we can do for losers, whiners, whatever, is not be one. 
you know what I mean, is to be out of that, so you know, stand up a bit higher, and so people can go, wow, your lighthouse shining so bright, your example is undeniable, I might go that way. You know what I mean? You, that's what you'll find is a lot of people, once you step up and step out, a lot of people want to come up and say, yep, yeah, thanks for doing that, that's a good example. A lot of people try and drag you down, that's cool, you know, just kick them off, <laughs> throw them some banana skins. But have fun doing it, above all, have fun with your family and friends, you know. Is a vegan diet a religion? Man, it's sort of like if, if people are that sort of dumbed down, apathetic, infused with ignorance and fatted out and can't even think for themselves, their hearts just switched off, you're dealing with sort of zombies, you know. So it's up to you. It's a personal choice how much time and energy you want to commit to these people who are just floundering. Because it takes no guts to be a skeptic. It takes no guts to go, I've eaten meat all my life and... I'm skeptical with this vegan diet. You're not skeptical. You're gutless. You're fucking gutless, man. You know, people go, if you want to be a vegan, you have to change things. To keep eating meat, you don't change shit. You're doing the same thing as you're maybe changing the recipe up, but it's the same ingredients, the same core, the same limited status quo worship that got of public opinion beliefs that keeping you in that meat mentality. I, I, got, I got to drink milk for calcium, don't I? Like, turn the TV on, like, you know, I've got to eat meat for calcium. It's like, go back to sleep, man. <laughs> it doesn't take any effort to keep doing what everyone else is doing. If you keep doing what everyone else is doing, you keep getting what everyone else is getting. So if you want to get something different, change the program, change the channel, switch it over to the vegan, do an experiment, take advice from the people who live in the vegan lifestyle, who are getting the crazy results. Don't take advice from people who aren't even fucking vegan, like Leah Keith. I was vegan for 20 years, and I've been using eggs and dairy every chance I got. And a vegan diet is pretty dangerous. Maybe it's all the animal cholesterol and fat I was consuming on the side. Um, I don't think you people should be vegan because you might step on a cockroach. That's called fucking part of nature, man. You know what I mean? It's sort of take advice and people getting the results you desire. If a vegan diet is a religion, cool. My religion is peace, man. And increase the peace. Go vegan. Follow your heart. Have fun. Stir up the family. Break the family apart. And mold them back together in a healthier more fun-filled, passionate, honest unit. Hope that makes sense. Again, just follow this, man. Follow the heart, if in doubt. That's how you make your life purpose decisions. And it might hurt to do that, man, but anything worth having is worth hurting for. Anything worth having is worth doing. Anything worth having is worth working for. If it wasn't so hard, everyone else would be doing it, which, again, is another topic for another video. Thanks for watching. Follow your heart. Have fun. Welcome to adversity. And don't just do it. Do it fucking better.